Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. I'm Joe Klimczewski with Adam Atkinson. We're going to continue on into episode five on our series about different approaches for different divisions. And uh, let's, let's move into women's physique, Adam, because that, of course, was brought in to kind of pull back a little bit on the extreme look of women's bodybuilding. And I, I was able to catch a lot of great classes in, in Pittsburgh last summer for this. And uh, it, was, it was pretty extreme, but I did see a couple women that they thought were just maybe too big, too much leaning toward the bodybuilding side, that they, they moved them, you know, kind of out of the way. And, I, and I, they, they instantly got that feedback that you were just a little bit too big. So, so how far of a difference do you think there is right now, discernibly, tangibly being rewarded by judges between those two divisions? Yeah, it, it's pretty small. It, interestingly enough, there's no weight cap. It's just a height cap. And we see this all the time where a girl's 140 pounds and they look 160. And then on the other end, they are 140 and they look 120. And it, it's really hard to tell people because sometimes that weight just does not carry over to extreme density. And I had a client, Jada Beverly, she went pro at USA's this year. And she just has such a great symmetrical shape and I'd say right in the middle size wise. And I just knew that as long as we were conditioned, no one was going to beat her because her shape is just so perfect. And, and they really do want some good shape with that. And I would say shape is kind of what separates it from bodybuilding because you're just not going to get as even or as uh, nice lines to per se. And maybe I shouldn't say nice. I would just say maybe not as extreme. And that's really what makes a difference. So it's kind of like having a bigger figure competitor to some degree, and then different posing that's very similar to bodybuilding with open hands, and a few variances on some of the side chest, side tricep poses. That's exactly what I was going to say. I'm glad you, you led into that description because I, I could see, especially some of the top IFBB pro figure competitors, having enough muscle to cross over. You just, you just maybe get a, a notch tighter and, and then you're, you're changing the posing, like you said. But on the bodybuilding side, some of the smaller bodybuilders, female bodybuilders, you know, the, the division for you is in you know, women's physique uh, because they, they, they really have now relegated women's bodybuilding to people who are just throwing it all out there. These women just want maximum size and density and hardness. And, and they're going to go to that extreme. And so I believe what you said earlier about it really is almost just a size difference comes into play. Because once you've got that class assembled on stage, it, it, the, the outcome standard kind of becomes obvious. You, you, you see the people who are just a little bit too big and the people who may be, you know, maybe not quite as impressive. And, and then you've got the standard. Um, whereas otherwise it's hard to say it any other way that it's just not quite as extreme as bodybuilding, but it's definitely still a bodybuilding type division. Absolutely. So in terms of, uh, prepping for this, I, I think you would agree with me that you're definitely going for all the conditioning you can get. I mean, you want to maintain the size. I mean, clearly that's the standard. That's why you're probably in that division anyway but you got to go down to being as lean as you could possibly be plus maintain that fullness and size plus peak well so that you've just got that ultimate perfection point of both conditioning and size. Yeah. It, and a lot of times the, the legs becomes the issue for women, just like we talked about because of, you know, estrogen differences, it's just harder to get the legs as tight as you need them to be in that division. And I would just say the prep tends to be longer. It tends to be more grueling. Um, pretty much any time we prep females, we just know they're going to have to grind harder than men do. And, and there are outliers. So I'm like, wow, you're plus 200 grams of carbs and you're getting lean, but they just don't have the size to do, you know, physique. And we just know those girls are really going to have to go but you just also have to be that much more careful not to totally push them to a point where they just can't keep up with their prep anymore. 
That, that is exactly what I wanted to talk about. And, and I think we'll continue that conversation in the next episode with women's bodybuilding. But I would say one more thing about this class is once you do have that size and conditioning down and you're not quite as extreme as women's bodybuilding, because it is physique, there is just a known quantity of aesthetic. You know, they still, you're, you're going to end up rewarding symmetry a little bit more and, and femininity a little bit more. Uh, than you would in terms of bodybuilding. And so that's, that's kind of the final touches on the physique, you know, to make sure that through your posing and so forth, you're getting there. But uh, you guys stay tuned. We got one more episode talking about the women's divisions and the different, different approaches for each. We'll catch you next time.